If you're new to sourdough baking, or if you have had trouble with your sourdough breads, I recommend that you try to acquire a bit of starter, a bit of a su successful starter. Now, the best way to do this is to go to somebody who is already an experienced sourdough baker and say, please, you know, can I have some starter? You can also start at Wild or find somebody with an einkorn starter, I mean, and then spread the word, spread the good, you know, sourdough word. But right now we're just kind of creating a slurry just like this. And again, you start with a small amount and then work up. And at this point, if you had, you know, a, if you had purchased a, a starter or if you had, somebody had given you a starter or anything like that, you would go ahead and add it in right now and just kind of whisk it in and, and call it good. You've been feeding it and the way you know that it's ready is that it is doubling within, it, it's doubling with each feeding, within a few hours of each feeding. So it'll, you'll see that it, you see that it's either puffier than it once was, or you look at your jar and you can see where it was high and then it became flat. And then that's when you know that it's ready for, for baking purposes. Pre-ferment is a small amount of sour to starter, four to one ratio of flour to starter is a, is a good way to look at it, roughly. Um, and as well as water. Really refreshing your sourdough starter and making a large amount enough to sustain your breads. Um, and you leave that fermenting for 12 hours. So it's really, it's really nice to um, start it in the evening and then you can bake it off in the morning. And that's, that's a, a lovely way to do it. So this is what we do to shape a bread. You take uh, a little bit, it's super sticky. So then you move it like this fold it, you gently pull the top and then that way you form a nice bowl. Do you see? You can still see some of these air pockets. That's why you don't want to overhandle the dough because if you really knead it hard, you're going to lose all that, that characteristic and, and it's going to be super, super tight. Einkorn is a type of grain. It really blossoms. The, the flavors of it suited to this kind of artisan style, old fashioned baking. You know, get your hands nice and floured. And remember, we're not adding a ton of flour, and you start to roll it like this, and you know, gently, gently.